Well, I was a fool to wander and stray. Straight is the gate and arrows the way. Now I have traded the wrong for the right. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Well, I saw the light. I saw the light. No more in darkness. Sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Well, I saw the light, I saw the light. No more in darkness, no more in night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. you got in. Oh, yeah, I believe it's number four. Thank you. 
that you will supply the court of your riches and glory. For it's in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, 
song. I am reaching over Jordan. Take my hand.
Sad story to tell you tonight, but I'm going to tell you Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. 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 I tell you, we seen God move this year. Yep. Amen. I tell you, every chance I did, I bruised the devil's head. He don't like me, and I don't like him. <laughs> so we got two things in common. Look out. Yeah. Because this Holy Ghost preaches around and he just shakes and trembles. Some people are scared of the devil. I'm not scared of the devil and his bloods. But the Bible says in James says, Submit yourself unto the Lord and resist the devil and he'll flee. But we as Pentecostal have turned it around and said, Stand still and shake and be scared and let him have his way. Well, that ain't what I'm going to say. I'm going to hurry up, Brother Oscar. I'm going to hear you. <laughs> but tonight, roll over my mind scriptures what to say. I firm believe in 2015, as the brother said, prophets is going to start coming out of the cracks. I'm talking about the originals. The fake ones, Brother Oscars, had their day. They had their publicity and all of their fame. And now it's about over with. Because you want to see a bunch of them run, you wait till the Spirit of God gets them moving. They're going to move, they're going to get out of the way or get in one. Or get run over one, one of the two. Amen. But I said that to say this, God began to deal with me as I come down here tonight. It's been rolling over my mind all day long. And I said, God, if that's what you want me to say, I'll say. My scripture be found in St. John 3 and 16, a very familiar scripture for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believe in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Yeah. Yeah. For God sent not His Son to the world to condemn the world, but the world through Him yeah. might be saved. Yeah. Yeah. If I had a topic, I'd like to tell it like this. When mercy walks in. Yeah. Yeah. When mercy walks in. Yeah. That's right. My mind, Brother Oscar, goes back to the little lady. I hope I ain't getting on your message. If I do, yeah, yeah. Beat, beat me after service, okay? <laughs> but the little lady, they brought her before the council. She was called in adultery. Yeah. And according to the Mosaical law, she's supposed to have been stoned to death. Yeah. But when mercy passed by that day, yeah. walked into the city of Jerusalem, <laughs> he heard the crowd begin to roar. Said stoned her to death. Thank God, people one day was saying stone that old boy to death. Yeah. Do away with that boy. Do away with him. Get him out of the way. Yeah. But when mercy walked in, mm -hmm. everything was all right. Yeah. Amen. Are y'all with me tonight? Amen. Amen. I'm telling you. Amen. When Jesus looked and he looked at that little lady there. I don't know how old she was, Brother Oscar, but I do know one thing. Amen. She met a man called the Son of the Living God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She met something great that day when he stooped down. I don't know. They say that he he rolled upon the sand and he said, "Ye without sin, cast the first stone." I don't know if that's what he rolled or not. I do know they drop them stones uh, and begin to uh, dissipate uh, and go away. <laughs> and Jesus said, Where is thou accusers? And, he, and then she said, I ain't got none. Jesus said, I don't condemn you. Go and sin no more. Yeah. Aren't you so glad uh, that when yeah. He forgives you uh, yeah. and when He saves you, uh, amen, them sins uh, are no longer to be brought up. Amen. 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 That's right. Hallelujah. I don't care what kind of crime 
We're going to lay hands on these mics. <laughs> Amen. You got another one, brother? You got the one I had for the devil, brother. Yeah. Cast it out wide. Which one do you want to get, brother? Yeah, either one of them. Either one of them. No one Amen. I'm telling you, when mercy walks in, that's a little better. Yeah. Amen. When it comes in, Brother Oscar, when he passes by, it don't matter the circumstances, it don't matter how low down in sin you may drift. You can be down so deep in the mud and in the mar pits of clay, but thank God He knows where you're at. He knows you from the foundation of the world. Come on. He knows you. He created you. He made you. He put the blood vessels in you. Amen. He put the heart there. He put everything in place so you can live and have your beings. What for? To serve Him. How to work for Him. Amen. To praise Him with all your might, with all your soul, and with all of your strength. Amen. That's right. When mercy walks in, I feel tonight somebody's here tonight. You've been going through pains in your life that you don't know which way to, uh, up and which way's down. You tried everything. You've been to the doctor. The doctors gave you medicine and told you, look, uh, take this. This will help you uh, sleep and help you calm your nerves. Uh, I'm going to tell you about a man called Jesus. Yeah. The mercy comes in and is here tonight. Uh, I'm talking about Jesus, uh, the Son of the living God. Uh, amen. And you touched how the hill of his garment, you'll be made whole. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, back then, a fisherman, when they called him and when they sold him there on the streets of Jerusalem, they was considered old dogs, old stinky people. But thank God there was a preacher burped out of it. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Yeah. amen. Here come Peter. Here came John. Amen. We go on and on in the name of the disciples. God began to use them. I believe in 2015, I believe we're going to have some John. I believe we're going to have some John the Baptist that's going to rise up and cry loud. And it's going to spare out. And it's going to lift up their voices a mighty trumpet and tell people of their sins and not compromise or back up, but preach the word. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you in the church? Yes. Are you ready to shout? Amen. Been a little shot in here early, but I seen Bro Oscar dance a jig. <laughs> I said, "Pour it on him, Lord! Pour it on him! Pour it on him!" It'd be quite a lot poured on me here in a minute. Pour it on him, Lord! Yeah, yeah, put it on him. Pour it on him, Jesus. Hey, brother. <laughs> I'm telling you, the church, Amen. Mercies walked in. Amen. People's had their say long enough. He said, My house shall be called the house of prayer, and you have turned into a den of thieves and robbers. Amen. They have turned it into their own proper gain. They turn it into socialism. They turn it into the walls for everything but except the Spirit of God. I'm telling you, the Spirit of God is going to start moving through the land. And people's going to get hungry in their heart uh, for God and a thirst. And they say, I'm, oh, I'm panting uh, and I'm longing uh, for to feel His Spirit. Come on, church, are you with me? Yes. I, 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 I believe we all see the Spirit of God in a measure like we've never seen before in 2015. I'm hurting on. How many more minutes of that, brother? <laughs> How many more minutes of that? All of them. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he he <laughs> likes to go with me. <laughs> but here we are. Praise I'm telling you, I've never seen like him in the ages that we're living in. Amen. That people are scared of the power of God. Amen. Amen. They're scared yeah. of the mercies of God. Yeah. What He can do. 
and what He can bestow upon His people, they are scared and they don't want it. I don't understand it why people want to reject the only thing that can get them out from this world. Amen. And reject the power of Jesus Christ. I want more of Him. Amen. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. But I still want more of God every day, 24 hours a day. I need Him in my life. Amen. If I don't, I'm going to get in trouble. Yeah. And then when I get in trouble, Mama gets on me. <laughs> and then I'm really in trouble. Mm -hmm. That's why you got a broke foot now, ain't it? <laughs> hey, brother, you better be quiet now. <laughs> I, I ain't going to touch that with a crutch. I had to do it. <laughs> Bless it, Lord. But I believe the church, so listen at me. And I'm sincere tonight what I'm saying. The Spirit of God is going to start moving in the churches that wants His presence there. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And the ones that don't want it, yeah. they're going to sit there and say, Mine, I, I don't understand. I'm just getting mine and my three. No more. I don't understand why my church ain't growing. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's true. I done this one time, Brother Oscar. And that preacher, he very seldom gets me back ever since I've said that. <laughs> My wife said I get in trouble everywhere I go. I, you, I said the only thing's growing out here is ivory. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they was dead. Amen. You could put a crowbar on them when they would rise up. You would say amen or hallelujah. Yeah. You say praise the Lord. What's that? Stand your feet, clap your hands. Amen. Yeah. You don't want to do it. Kind of felt like an oddball. Then I'll tell you one church was in. I'm not saying this to blow off steam tonight. I'm telling you, amen, we are living in a generation that has forsaken the town of God. They have forsaken the only thing that's going to get us back. And that is the spirit of the Lord of the Holy Spirit moving and us getting out of the way and let the spirit run the show. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's true. We went to this church. Brother Oscar knows what we're talking about. I called him just to cry. He felt sorry. I said, come on, brother, preach for me. It was on Sunday night. You really felt sorry for me, didn't you? <laughs> we drove to this church. I, I'm not exaggerating. I don't mean to be making a mockery of nobody. But we got there at 10 o'clock. Time the service started. Well, they got and they done their little thing. That one guy got up and he, he was doing like his Oh, I want you to know. He was telling about every pill in the book. Pills I never even heard about. Never would pop in my mind. He know the street value of them. I said, well, my Lord. I said, he must be selling or something going on that I don't know about. Next thing you know, he called them. They, they started praying for him. And they, they, they began to fall on the floor and he crawled like a chicken. <laughs> It went on for about five or ten minutes. The pastor came over and told me, he said, look, so I feel like God's move. We'll get you back another time. <laughs> five minutes in church. Yeah, and God had His way. Their way, not God's way. Amen. Yeah. Somebody said, have you been back now? What would you do if they called? I said, I'm booked. Call Brother Oscar Walls. <laughs> He's got plenty of opens. <laughs> He'll shoot me after that, bro. I'll be very good. I promise you, he's booked. You're going to need some of that mercy you were talking about. Uh, <laughs> it's good to have a lot of that. <laughs> well, we've been there. My wife can tell you we've been in church. One night I got up and I was preaching. The Holy Spirit began to move. And I'm talking about it. God was blessed until I got up on Halloween and boy, I spoiled the whole party. <laughs> 250 some people in the church. Pastor said, well, said Brother Carter up Love Waste. Said in the, in the back, said, we're going to take up the love offering. 
And my wife still laughs at me. She sneaks around and says, your day's coming. I'm going to laugh at you. <laughs> <coughs> Tell the brother tonight, $14. But I said, playing golf for $14. <laughs> Amen. I'm not going to compromise the truth for nobody. Amen. <coughs> Amen. The truth will set you free. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody shout Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. If we got truth, we got something to shout about. Right. This word is truth. Yeah. In this we live and have our beings. And without it, we are nothing. That's right. Amen. Right. Right. Hey, come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And how can they preach unless they be sent? That's right. I'm an evangelist. So now I'll leave here and I'll go somewhere else and be preaching somewhere else a weekend. And don't pick on him for what I said. <laughs> I got to pick on you. <coughs> but I said it from the beginning. Here's a church that's on fire for God. As the brother said, that the, there's like a pillar of smoke that's over the head of this church. And just hovering. And that's anointing. That's just a kind of glory, brother. That's going to move. In like you've never seen before. Brother, you said they drove up on the parking lot. They felt the Spirit of God. They're going to feel it from the highway. God's going to draw them in. Amen. Yes, Lord. He's going to draw them in. Yes, Lord. Hey, we lived in Orange where my wife can tell you this, this is not no hearsay. Uh, brother, we had young people come off the street. It was getting saved. Knocking on our doors all during the night. Want Jesus in their life. And boy, I said, Lord, what am I going to do with all these young people? One led to 10. 10 led to 20. 20 led to 30. Then it just kept going on up, on up. I said, Lord, I don't know what to do with these young people. <laughs> God said, you got a garage, use it. I said, okay, Lord, I'll use the garage. We sent them young people filled with the Spirit of God. Slave by the power of the one of the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, it's nothing like being the power of God to get a hope of a person individually and, and slay them in the major. How many came tonight? God's been, He's already been here. Amen. Amen. Through the brother, he done an excellent job. He's still here. I don't want to add nothing that he even said because he done a wonderful job. Yeah. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, mercy is here tonight. Amen. 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 Brother, is your name Brother Mike? I got it right. Yeah. Will you care to come play it again? That song, Mercy. All right. I'm fixing turkey. <laughs> Pastor, here just a second. But I don't care what you've been going through. And I, I feel this from abundance in my heart. Somebody's carrying a heavy burden. Don't leave here with that on your shoulders. Because you do, you're going to get miserable and miserable and miserable. And the next thing you know, You'll be getting to lay out of church. And next day, it'll be easier to lay out of church. Next thing come along. And then the devil said, I got you now. And you say, Well, you know, you used to be going back no more. They'll say, I didn't have nothing. But God told me to tell you the devil's a liar. Amen. Amen. That if you've been, you've been bought with a price, <laughs> if you've been covered with the blood of Jesus Christ, yes. And mercy came that day and wiped your as clean as a slate, no longer to be remitted. Why should man throw it up in your face? Right. See, ladies and gentlemen, people will never forgive, but God will. Yeah, that's right. that's true. That's true. I call them chicken pickers. They want to pick at everything. I don't send me down to the house. Well, I'll send him where time I don't send you. 
He's got his hair in my comb the proper man means he needs to shake up. <laughs> Look like all three of them in place to me. <laughs> but they find the most silliest things to pick at and to fuss at. And when mercy walks out the door and says, I'm no longer <coughs> See, ladies and gentlemen, this man went in service. Brother Oscar probably heard this before. And he came in. Would you stay? And brother, he had long hair and a beard. Preacher came to him and said, You're not wanted in our sanctuary. He's a truck driver. And he walked out and got me straight and said, Why, God? He said, I came here to save you. And he looked. The Spirit of God began to speak to him and said, Listen, son. He said, I've been trying to get in there all along. They don't want me either. <laughs> How true it is that Jesus has often said, I want to move in that sanctuary. But they don't want me. They don't want me. Yeah. I know Brother Oster's got a farm. What time is it back here? Oh, clock. Quarter after 11. 14 minutes after. You got time, brother. See, I, I won't be courteous to my brother. But I want every saint of God. Now, if you don't meet, you don't need coming up here. But if you mean, I want you to come right up here and all just everybody get around. How are you going to do it? And I want you to begin to lift your hand as he. Sing that song, Mercy. And begin to praise Him for mercy. Came by one day and saved you. You once was lost, but now you're found. You could have been in a bar tonight, but you in church. Thank God for it. Come on, pour your hearts out, church. Get your mind on Jesus. Get your mind on Him. Don't worry about your neighbor. Put the neighbor on it. Your mind, but put one thing. And that's Jesus, the Son of God. So I'm coming just as I am. I'm coming to get a blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, God is a God of mercy. Oh, I feel the Lord and the Holy Spirit. Come on, let's praise Him. Come on, praise Him. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Oh, Oh, Father, right now, in the name 
name of Jesus touch your sister right now. From the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. In Jesus' name. Oh, keep playing it, brother. Keep playing the knowing of the Holy Spirit here. Oh, it's here. It's here. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, I feel no ha ha da 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 Father, give the witness of your spirit right now. <coughs> Jesus. Oh, praise mercy. Oh, touch my sister, Lord. Father, from the crown of her head to the sole of feet. Let your moment go. Oh, there it is. Not many days hence, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Right now, Lord. Right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Anoint these hands with fire, Father. Anoint these hands with fire. He lo lo mo shakoto shakatai. He she the lo lo mo shikatai. He the mo shakatai. He she the lo lo mo shikatai. He she the lo lo He she the lo lo mo shikatai. Lord, she loves you with all her heart. He she the lo lo mo shikatai. He the lo lo mo shikatai. Lord, she's long. She said, Lord, I want that anointing of the Holy Spirit to move in my life. Jesus. Like I heard before yes, when my grandparents used to oh, shout and dance in the aisle. I want that kind of spirit. Sister God told me that he's the same. He don't change his spirit. Don't deviate. He's still the same God. And it's the same God right here tonight. All you got to do is reach out and receive. Can you start feeling the warmness coming in? 
the Spirit. Yes, Jesus. All you got to do is receive it. It's yours. From this night forth, ah. you're going to be used in a different way that you've Brother, ever you been used. Brother, do you understand what I was telling you? God is going to use you in a mighty God way from this night forth. He and he's looking to him because he's the author of Fisher. He's a looking to him because he's the Lord about God. And he's going to use you in a mighty, mighty it's way. The to look unto him. No man told me nothing, looking man. to God. And God's going to you don't know me and I don't know you. Healer. But the Spirit of God within me is With fire. And God's going to Mark it down and see what God does. Whew. Well, Pastor Hogg is saying, I made this mess, now you're going to have to finish it. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I, did, I did leave you time. Don't you go around and say, okay, you know what I'm saying? Look at the clock. I didn't do it. <laughs> oh. I'm not no singer. I just get up and try. Make a noise. You know, God is a good God, isn't he? Amen. All the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. Yeah. You know, I looked around over the crowd tonight. I begin to I begin to think. You know, everybody that's here tonight, you just didn't happen to show up here. Nope. That's right. You didn't just happen to show up. That's right. You're here because God intended for you Amen. to be in this service tonight. Amen. Amen. You know, I, I listened to both of the preachers tonight preaching, and each one of them brought out the thing about the anointing. About the anointing. See, there's something about the anointing of God. Yeah, amen. We got to understand where the anointing comes from. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing a song, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna talk, say something. wasn't going to, wasn't going to, but God spoke to me, and I feel like I should. We're going to heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. That's not Western, is it? I'm going. I'm going. In my life, I've struggled.
Lord, if most may grace the hope you lived in all these years. But the sweet day in heaven, a mansion wait for me. And I will open wide those doors throughout come in and take a boat in this building right now. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, tonight I, I, I was going, I had something else I thought about preaching, but I, I, I was bringing a message on, but God began to speak to me. I, some of you might have heard me preach this sermon before, but I'm going to preach it again. Hallelujah. But First off, we're going to, I'm going to get, we're going to go into a little history, okay? We're going to go into a little history. 2,000 years before Jesus came to this earth, right outside of Jerusalem was an old garden. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. 2,000 years before he came, there was an old garden. They called it Gethsemane. You see, there was something that went on every year in this old garden. A lot of people don't realize. Every year they would harvest the, gar the olives. And over to the edge of the old garden was a place where they pressed the olives. As they pressed the olives, the oil came out and they contained the, the oil. See, this oil was used for special occasions. Uh -huh. For very special occasions. See, this oil was used for the anointing of the kings. When they anointed the king, when King David was anointed as king, they anointed him with the olive oil. Hallelujah. See, there is anointing in the Holy Ghost power of God. Hallelujah. See, the press has to be put and the olives has to be put into the press. Yeah, that's right. And when the olives is put into the press, I don't know how they done it back in those days, but they had to be put into a press and they begin to put pressure on the olives and then the olive oil begin to come out. Yes. Yeah. See, we talk about the anointing power of God. We preach about the anointing power of God. Uh -huh. And we feel the anointing power of God. Yes. I feel it right now. Yes. Hallelujah. We feel that anointing power when God begins to come into our life and we begin to feel the presence of God. See that oil come through pressure. As it was pressed down. It was pressed out. And there was an old place called Gethsemane. Jesus knew that His time was about it up. He knew that all the things that He was fixing to have to go through was going to be one of the worst things that could ever happen to a person. He knew this. He already knew what was fixing to take place. See, the Hebrew word, forget, is to press our issue force. 
Amen. A riches of anointing or healing ointment. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing. Amen. Hallelujah. I hope y'all get what I'm fixing to say tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, when Jesus knew that His time was about to come, you know what He done? He marched down the road. He got some of His disciples. He marched down the road. Now, I may be doing a little paraphrasing here. So stay bear with me. He marched down the road. He said, come on. Boys, I want you all to go with me down to the garden. We're going to Gethsemane. As he went to Gethsemane, he knew what was fixing to come on him. He knew the pressure that was fixing to come to him. He knew that what he was fixing to have to go through was more than any ordinary human being could have could have absorbed. That's right. Amen. He went into the he went into the garden, and he went in, and he told his disciples. I'm going to read just a little scripture to you here tonight. Y'all stay with me. And they came to a place which was named Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit you here while I shall pray. Yeah. Hallelujah. While I shall pray. Now tonight, we felt the anointing of God in this building. I did. Yes, sir. Yes. I did. I felt the anointing of God. Yes. And I believe everybody in here Amen. that's a believer in Christ yes, felt, the, pride, yes, felt the presence of the Lord. Yes, thank you. Hallelujah. I feel the morning of the Holy Ghost. I feel something begin to bubble over inside of me. It's something you can't see. It's something I feel. Hallelujah. It's something you can't see, but I feel it within me. Now see, Jesus went there. He walked out and He said, He said, just set you here while, while I go and pray. Jesus went out into the garden and the Bible says that He fell on His face and He began to pray. He said, Father, if it be thy will, yes. let this cup pass from me. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. The pressure began to come down. Yes. The press began to come down on Jesus. The oil, the anointing, yeah. the blood of Christ yeah. was fixing to flow. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. That's what we have enjoyed tonight. You know what? How, how do you ever think about the things that Jesus done while he was on this earth? Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Do you remember the night, the time when the little woman that had the issue of blood, yes. she followed him down the, an old street one day. Somebody told that woman, this man Jesus, if you just go where he's at, he will heal you. Yes. He will somebody told that lady that. That lady, as she walked down that street, you know, she never thought of nothing but touching the hem of the garment. She didn't think anything to her, Brother Terry about walking out there and grabbing him by the shirt and, and pulling down on him. It never crossed her mind. She said, if I can but touch, I feel the anointing of the Lord. If I can but touch uh, the hem of the garment. Uh, she said, I know that I will be made whole. See, the man that she needed to touch had the anointing. <coughs> The man that she needed to touch was putting into the pressure. The pressure was coming down. He began to feel the pressure. And all the way through until he was crucified, he felt the pressure. He felt the anointing that we're having tonight. The anointing that we feel within us tonight. That anointing of the Holy Ghost was being put in place to where we could feel the Hallelujah. I feel the Lord. Hallelujah. He was feeling the pressure that we were searching to get the anointing. Yeah. Anointing yeah. that we needed or not. That's right. Hallelujah. I began to see him when Brother Terry, whenever he packed the cross as far as he could go, couldn't pack it no further. Yeah. The pressure was coming down. Yeah. Hallelujah. The pressure was coming down. Yeah. The anointing was on its way. Amen. Hallelujah. The anointing was about to happen. They took him up there. They, they, before they did, they put an old crown of thorns on his head. You know, everybody in here that I'm telling this knows what I'm talking about. You've heard it before. You've heard this before. The anointing, the pressure that Jesus was going through was being put on Him. The pressure was being put down. And as the pressure came down on Him, He endured it. They marched Him up to God got this hill. They laid him on the cross. 
Brother Terry, they didn't take his life. He gave it. He gave it. He gave it. He gave it willingly. Hallelujah. You know what? I begin to think about that. He had everything that he needed to destroy the whole hillside. He had 10,000 angels that were sitting there saying, saying, oh, we want to go. We want to go. He's there fixed to the crucify Him. We want to go. Yes, sir. And the Father said, not yet. <laughs> not just yet. Yeah. Hallelujah. And then the pressure becoming that began to come down on Him. The heart of the pressure came down on Him. And finally, after they nailed Him to an old cross, and they raised that old cross in there and dropped it down in that old hole. And then he was to thud. And the pressure began to come down on him. His breath began to get short. And directly when after so after six hours, he looked up and he said, It is finished. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's finished. But there's something that happened. Rather than he just cried, he's finished. Across the valley, on the other side of the valley, across from Golgotha, uh -huh. stood a temple. God came there once a year for the sacrifice of our sins to be pushed forward. That wasn't going to happen no more. Let me tell you something, people tonight. Jesus is not in sandals. He's not walking down a dusty road. Hallelujah. No, sir. No, no sir. sir. He's not on the cross no more. Amen. Hallelujah. And he won't ever be. They'll never crucify him again. Amen. They've done it for the last time. That's right. And I begin to see him when he said, Cried is it's finished. The old temple across the hillside. The veil began to rip. See, this veil wasn't just a little cloth that was hanging up there. If you study about the veil, that thing was six inches thick. And to raise it from the ground to the top, it took 12 yoke of oxen. Yes, sir. 24 oxen. But all of a sudden, it began to rip. Hallelujah. It began to rip. And it ripped all the way to the ground. Hallelujah. Oh, what did I tell you all a while ago about the anointing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, there's an anointing in this. <coughs> there's something in this, Brother Terry, that makes you get up and begin to give God all the praise that He has. Yeah. He's been given. Thank you, Jesus. It's the one that there's an anointing that comes to you when you begin to pray. God, I need you yes. in my life. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I need you to move in my life. Yes. And this thing with this anointing wow. begins to take place. Yeah. Yeah. See, Jesus went into the to the tomb. He was there for three days. Yes. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Three days he was in that tomb. Mm -hmm. But early on the third morning. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The pressure's been put down. Hallelujah. The anointing is on its way. Hallelujah. The stone was rolled back. And my Lord came out. Hallelujah. He came out. The anointing is with us. We have the anointing. We have it all. We're God's people. Hallelujah. I'm His. Hallelujah. I'm His. And everything that is, it's been given to me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I feel the anointing of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That anointing. That you're feeling right now. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. That anointing that you feel right now yes. came through that cross. Yes. That anointing that went over there through that cross yes. came out of that tomb that morning. Yes. And he walked out among us. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. 
The pressure was put down. And now the anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look around me. Hallelujah. Now that anointing. Hallelujah. Is right here in this building right now. Right now. There's people in this building that can feel the anointing of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 You feel the anointing? Yes. Amen. What are you going to do with it? Hallelujah. Right now, you feel the anointing. What are you going to do with it? Hallelujah. What are you going to do with it? Hallelujah. What are you going to do with it? Hallelujah. What are you going to do with that anointing? It's yours. God paid a way for it. What are you going to do? What are you going to praise Him? What are you going to shout? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Hallelujah. That anointing is all over this. Place. It's there. All you got to do is reach out and take hold of it. Brother Terry, it's for you. It's for me. It's for every one of us. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That anointing is coming through this building right now. That anointing is the one. Uh, whenever that everybody was talking about Jesus, oh my goodness. Uh, I'm, uh, hallelujah. Old Philip was sitting in the, in the upper room. Uh, hallelujah. He was sitting in the upper room. Uh, and all of a sudden, uh, the anointing uh, walked through the wall uh, and didn't even open the door. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody you know what? I think so many times. You know, we, 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 want, we want, want to think about going to heaven. And, that, and that's, that's our whole intent is to go to heaven. Hallelujah. I feel this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel what I'm talking about tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Don't get me to life at night. <laughs> Hallelujah. This thing could get contagious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This thing could get contagious. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Come on. Let's use that anointing. Let's keep it a praise. Hallelujah. Let's keep it a praise going. Let's keep it going. Hallelujah. God is working. God is a real thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see the love of God? I see it. I can stand up here tonight and look across this congregation and see the love of God. I can see God in this building right now. Amen. You say, what are you talking about? God is love. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what He said He was. He said, I'm love. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. And I see it demonstrated right now. I see, I see the anointing of God in this building. Right? Hallelujah. What a God. What a God we serve. Hallelujah. 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 This Holy Ghost power that we've been talking about. Listen, my friend. You can have this Holy Ghost power in your life tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. You can have the Holy Ghost power of God overflowing in you right now like you've never seen before. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. This is the anointing. This is what I've been telling you about. This is the pressure. This is the anointing. Hallelujah. It's a spiritual anointing. This thing will move. It will move to the building. It will move from her to him and from him to him. This spirit that I'm talking about will move in your being. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The pressure's done been put down. All we gotta do now is use it. What are you gonna do with it? Hallelujah. What are you gonna do with the anointing? What are you gonna do with it? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, people. Hallelujah. The anointing said that he had handed the praise of his people. Praise your holy name, Lord. We love you, Lord. You know, you didn't come to church tonight to live for the Lord. Praise your holy name, Lord. 
You do that seven oh, days a week. This is a house of worship. Yeah. You come here to worship God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Do you want something? Do you want to take something right home with you? Get the anointing of God upon you. Amen. Get the anointing of God. Let you be to the place that you can have a, a feeling where you can discern the Spirit between your brother and your sister. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let God move. Let God move. Hallelujah. Let Him move. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, you know, they, 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 they say we're peculiar people. The Bible says he, to, that he, God said He would have a peculiar people. What's going to make them peculiar is because they worship Him. Hallelujah. Because they worship Him. Now I want everybody in this building to get those hands in the air. Hallelujah. 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 I want to see, I, I want to hear somebody say, God, I love you. God, I adore you. Hallelujah. I praise your holy name. Hallelujah. God, I give you praise because you gave me the anointing. Hallelujah. Of the power and the Holy Ghost power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have that anointing. I have the anointing. And I know that you're the God. They gave it to me. Hallelujah. 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 You know, I begin to picture. I, I know I can't. I try to. I, I, it's, it's not within me to do it. I try to picture what it's going to be like. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, I don't want to. I, I, I wish I could, could just picture in my mind what it's going to be like when we're all standing before the throne of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hallelujah. We're standing there gazing. And all of a sudden, this man that brought us the anointing. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Walks out on the pedestal. Yeah. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Lord. Yeah. And I see him. What did he say? And we shall see him as he is. As he is. As he is. We shall see him as he is. You know, here on the, here in this world world tonight, here in the, in this church tonight. If we if the Spirit of God was to really hover into this place, the full spirit of God was to hover into this place, we would blow away. Yeah. You know, what we've, been, what we've enjoyed here tonight, I don't know about y'all, but I've enjoyed it. I love to feel the presence of God. I love to feel the anointing that He gives. I love to feel that anointing. But you know, whenever we're standing before Him, We're not going to stand in front of Him in this body. Hallelujah. I'm going to stand in front of Him with an anointed body. Hallelujah. That will absorb everything that God has to give us. Hallelujah. I won't blow away. Hallelujah. You know what I'm going to be doing? Just like I do down here in this old church sometimes. I'm going to be jumping up and down. I'm going to be shouting. I'm going to be screaming. And Brother Terry is a mile away. And I look over there and see him. I'm going to say, Brother Terry, we made it. We made it. Hallelujah. We made it. Hallelujah. Hope that be something. Tell 
Hallelujah. I feel something. And I know what it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You still feel the presence of God. You know, if He was sitting right here on this altar, and you could visually see him. What do you think it'd be like to reach down and take him by the hand? You see, God had a plan before time ever began. Before time ever started, God had a plan. Everybody in this building tonight was in that plane. Hallelujah. See, God don't want nobody to go to hell. No, sir. He don't. What he wants is for people to come to him. Say, look, Lord, I've made a mistake in my life. I've seen it. It's that spirit that comes within us when we come to this world. It comes to us. That we're to do wrong. Our nature is to do wrong. That spirit has to be changed. That anointing that I was preaching to you about tonight, change that spirit. He will take that spirit that you came into this world with and it will turn it around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to say this. When I say it, I hope you get what I'm trying to say. We're going to heaven. Hallelujah. We're going to heaven. Hallelujah. We're going to heaven. Hallelujah. That ought to make you as happy as you can be. Nothing could be any more to you. Lord, if you're going into eternal life, never, never to come out of it again. Hallelujah. Lord, how great thou art. How great thou art. Hallelujah. Come on, people. This altar is not just for sinners. <laughs> this altar is not just for sinners. If you're a Christian, you've been a Christian for 20 years, you've been a Christian for 50 years, and you need a touch from God, let me tell you something. This altar is open to everybody that needs a touch from God. This touch that I'm talking about came through pressure. It came through the anointing of the Holy Ghost power of God. Hallelujah. Come on, people. I'd rather be seeing somebody pray in that this way. The soul you're out and start the year 2015 this way greater than anything it is I can see now. Hallelujah. Do you need a touch from the Lord tonight? You can say, God, I just need a touch from you. Get in this altar. Get in here and begin to say, God, I need a touch from you. I need that Holy Ghost power all over me. Hallelujah. 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 
Oh, you can't win. You can't. You can't right. win. We got, we got one minute. One minute. All right, everybody, come in around the altar. We got one minute. We got one minute. One minute, people. And we're going to pray this old year out. Hallelujah. You know what? Tonight in New York City. There will be several thousand people that will get to see a ball come down 220 foot to the earth. Hallelujah. My mind's not on going down. It's on going down. Amen. So the night of day one, somebody give... They're standing on concrete. We're standing on holy ground. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now what we're fixing to do here just in a minute, we're going to start praying. I'm going to ask you, if you know somebody that doesn't know the Lord, tonight when you pray that old year out and the new year in, you pray that that person will come to the Lord. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. We're Nine, eight, hey, start praying. Seven. Almighty God, Father, we come before you. God, we're asking you right here. 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 God, Thank you tonight. Thank you. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now give the Lord 